Welcome back to the Loneliest Highway in America series. This is Highway 50. We did it our way. We had a great time. We're in <laughs> Fallon, Nevada right now. And what about this town? We had a great breakfast. We're sitting across from a structure. It's the oldest wooden structure still in Nevada as a courthouse. So this town was established in 1896, later incorporated in 1908. Tourism, it's got a naval base here. Papa Juan sent us a note last night. He graduated from Top Gun Academy out here. Did a couple tours here, said he loved the town. But look, it's the stagecoach run. It's the Pony Express. As with any, all these towns we've seen, this was Lincoln's Highway. Now it's the 50, and we did the Loneliest Highway. Where, were, where are we headed next? We are taking off. We're going to head down the 95 to Death Valley, and we're going to show you some scenery this winter that's amazing. So stick with us. Let's do this. Subscribe. Let's go. Again, we're having a road dog lunch. Just pulled into Tonopah. What are we eating, dudes? Spicy Italian, man. You know what? It was a little cold ride in the way in here, so it's like feels good to be sitting in here. Big Subway, guys. No, oh, he's chewing. He's chewing. BMT. What's uh, what's the bread that we have here, guys? Oh, Italian herb and cheese, homie. We got some hot Cheetos. We are living large. What's you next? 
Beatty. Death, Death Valley, we're on our way. We'll stay in Beatty tonight, the exchange club. And the views are good? Views are great. I don't know, are we going into Death Valley or are we stopping in Beatty and staying there? No, I think we night we would like to get in and maybe do some twilight tonight in the park let's see where the day takes us we're in the town of goldfield Wow, look at some of these buildings. The courthouse. Look at this old shell. Well, it's just before 3.30 and we're pulling into Beatty, Nevada. Still got some sunlight. It's been a great ride and the temperature has warmed up to about 55, so good times all around. Yeah, it's feeling really good. I mean, we had our lunch, we skedaddled out of there, we've been ripping around about 90 miles an hour, and we made some really good time, and uh, we're gonna be in before dark, I like that. Hell yeah. Yeah, we just uh, did a little bit of a live on our Instagram and had a bunch of people jumping on as we were <laughs> ripping across the desert. Lance and I found Beatty years ago when we wanted to come up and do Death Valley, but the prices in the, the park were pretty extreme, so we just looked at the down next over and we found this exchange club so we'll take you there tonight you've seen it in some of our other drops but you're gonna love this uh, little piece we do tonight here it's gonna be great yeah and that place has changed quite a bit over the years I remember when you filmed it you know on your your early trips and now they've remodeled it it's a great place to stay like we said before there's a cheap bar across the street smoking chase barbecue which has some just killer barbecue can't beat the views either way. You know, I really wish the sky didn't have a little layer of cover over it so it was a little brighter out here. Yeah. Be a pretty sight to see, you know, but hey. Well, I think what we need to do is get checked into the motel here and we'll uh, get our bearings and then I think we can run into like rhyolite, do a little bit of filming tonight, get that nice little twilight glow. There's Beatty down south, you can see right off to our right. There we go. All right, well, I'll see you guys in town. See you in town. Hey, you over there. Hey. Where are we? We are in Baby, Nevada, one of our spots that we've been several times. Whoa. Ooh, who just came out of the room? Cheap drinks. It's a good place to be. Hell yeah. We got the, uh, what's it called? Happy Burrows. Happy Burrow Chilean beer. We're going to head out to Death Valley right now. Where's it at over there? And it's, it's right behind Sourdough. <laughs> here we go. All right, down the road. Death Valley, here we come. Well, it's like four in the afternoon, you guys. We're 35 feet, 35,000. Never mind. <laughs> 35,000 feet. Lance, you're on another level, my friend. Check it over. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We're 3,500 feet above sea level. It's 57 degrees. It's warmed up. We just left Beatty for a, a little quick journey out to Rhyolite. We've taken them to Rhyolite two or three times, but I think what we're going to get tonight is a little bit of the twilight. Hopefully we get to see a couple burros or donkeys or jackasses whatever you want to call them but should be a good time and we'll get back into town late later and have some smoking jade barbecue yes sir well, i'm looking at two jackasses right now and we're heading down this long stretch of road <laughs> oh. into death valley national park and uh yeah Riley, it's only about 10 minutes from Beatty, so it'll be cool to show them that little ghost town again get some cool shots and i'll tell you what 60 degrees feels like a warm summer day right now it is a nice contrast from the cold previous couple days on the loneliest road in America. So Look at that long road ahead of us. It just goes forever right into the mountainside right there. And you do have to watch out on this highway. You can see some uh, burro, donkey, whatever you want to call them, cruising around the uh, 
bush around here. Yep. So I just got off the phone with the board, Josh. Really? It seems like you're fired because you just called the two old guys jackasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fired. Come on, come on. Oh, uh, we have to follow protocol, right? There must be a cop up there. Homie's giving us a flash, so <laughs> let's slow it down and cruise on into Rile Light. Oh, here's the donkeys here. Ah. Check it out. That's what they were flashing. Run, buddy. All right, let's get to Rile Light. Turn right. Turn right. See you guys later. Really? Those guys want to pass. See, they want to go by Rile Light. See them down the road there? I'm going to turn right right here and go into Rile Light. <laughs> So if you go back to our very first drop or our vlog or our whatever you call those <laughs> things, right? We started here. Did we, we did Death Valley, yes. and we went up to Mount Charleston, yes, and came back through Vegas, and and we did that whole loop. So, uh, and then we brought the young guns here. So you know you've probably seen this two or three times, but it's not like a Williams spot, right? But it still has a special place in our heart, and you know it's kind of interesting with the the mining towns that we've been through this last week. And then you come here, and this one started in 1905. By 1907, they had lights and electricity and water. Uh, by 1910, basically, the town was almost gone. 1920, it was empty. <laughs> so what a short-lived time frame, you know? And you know, in 1906, Las Vegas and Tonopah were building one mile of train track a day, and then it turned into two miles of train track a day to get this train into Rhyolite, to get Rhyolite connected to these cities because it was out here by itself. Yeah, but how do people find places like this? Like we were sitting having lunch today and we're talking about that town in Tonopah, and one of the guys, Burroughs, walked off, and so he went to find him, <laughs> and he saw him, and he walked up to a rock pile, grabbed a piece of rock, and it was a really heavy rock, so he couldn't even throw it at the burrow. He took it into town, they measured it, and it was one of the second largest silver find in Nevada. So again, mining. How does that happen? Mining is where all I these know, towns. I know, but that's fate. Yeah, exactly. Like he walked up and he was <laughs> gonna throw a rock at his donkey and he... <laughs> so tonight we're gonna have a little smoke and jays. Yeah. Uh, we'll probably venture over to the Happy Burrow because that's one of our spots. Yes. And uh, you know, we'll close it out tonight. You've got a birthday tomorrow. But we might do some filming tomorrow on the way out We're of here. definitely yeah. doing some filming tomorrow yes. because I think we're going to talk about what really happened on the 190. Yes, that's right. The Josh. one that two years ago. So, hey, get back into town, have some grub, and have a great night's sleep. <laughs> Here we sit at uh, Smoke and Jay's. We got here just after he first opened a few years ago. We came back a year later and interviewed him. Uh, and we're back. Great ride today. Not too cold. 40s to 50s all day long. Man, I can't wait to dig into this. Oh, it's. I mean, this is awesome. After a long day, sit down, you have a beer and some great food. Can't do anything better, but. You can if you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> we got some pulled pork, we've got some brisket, we've got a couple ribs, we've got a, some jalapeno cheddar uh, sausages, we've got jalapeno mac and cheese and some coleslaw, and you know it's a real barbecue place when they have bread with the meal. So would we give it two thumbs up? I haven't tried it yet, but we did before, at least two. All right. Maybe so three, because there's three of us eating. All right, so three thumbs up. Yes. We're gonna walk away full. Um, you know, we saw so much great stuff in the last couple days, and, and I know you guys enjoyed watching it, but it's like, 
seeing America and meeting people. We just do it over and over and we love it. We have a good time doing it. I, mean, I look forward to the next trip. Every well, we time. just met a couple here. And yeah. We started talking to them and they're friends of ours now. Right. So we're going to do the Happy Burrow in Chile. We'll have to show them that. We'll show them that. We'll close out a little bit later, but how about we get to eating? Let's eat. So happy Burrow Chile and beer, and what are we going to do? Well, before we do that, Lance and I have been coming here for probably eight years. Um, we actually donated some money for one of the bikes, because they do a bike fundraiser for the kids here in town and we just stumbled into this bar one night and we were met with all these wonderful people yep. in this little <laughs> 12 by 12 space right, or whatever right. it is uh so tonight we wanted to pay a little bit of homage to that and buy the bar around love it right love so it. josh maybe get behind the bar and we'll all raise a glass to the happy burrow chili and beer happy cheers are we going to go in the bathroom and show them the, the handlebar toilet? Sounds kind of weird. I know, but we got to show them because it's like a thing here, right? Uh, all right, let's do this. It. Why don't you show them like what Cody Weber did? He said the clutch cable doesn't work, but you just have to go here and do your thing. No, and Cody was like... He did do that, didn't yeah, he? he? did do that. So, Happy Burrow Chili and Beer, this is the bathroom. It's all about motorcycles, baby. Cody Weber. Well, another fun night at the Happy Burrow Chili and Beer. I mean, we've been coming here for five, eight years. I don't know what it is. And it never disappoints. We met some great people <laughs> in there. Did a little shot with them. Yeah. Um, this has been a great run. It's we started out Thursday up to Ely, across the, the loneliest highway. Last night in Fallon, down here. Tomorrow we're going to close it out with a little run. But what a great time. It was a cold run, a great run. Spectacular scenery. The snow. Amazing. The mountains, the weather we went through. Wasn't the perfect time of year to do the loneliest. It kind of was. It, but it, for us it was. Right, but at right, least right. we were able to show people. Right you know, where to go People and People say and come back for the summer, right? For sure, spring, right. fall. And we're not gonna end it here because after you subscribe to our YouTube channel, we're gonna show you some stuff on the way out of here through Death Valley. And that'll be kind of cool too because it's gotta be spectacular down there. Well, let's get to the rooms. Exchange Club, here we come. Thanks for watching this and there's more to come. Down, down the road.